So what's up? We get right into it. So today I kinda wanted to ramble on about trying to fit an image, particularly on social media, because I don't think we exhaust it as a topic. I just do not think that people really take heed to it. I think that people think that they can differentiate themselves more than they can. Because truth be told, everything that you do is a reflection of who you are. And I think people try to treat themselves like they're so multifaceted, that they're so amazing that the limits that apply to other people don't apply to them. And it's like, no, it applies to all of us. We are who we hang around. We tend to think what we consume. And we tend to be what we act out. Actions speak louder than words. And I see a lot of people thinking that It's easy for them to portray an image on social media and then live out a completely different life than that. And to me, that's just bullshit because either. Most of the time you see it, I think the best example is with celebrities. They act out these characters, you know, for entertainment purposes. And after a while. Most of them, you see it like where the character starts to bleed over into their own lives. Um, And it's because you spend so much time perfecting your craft. You spend so much time playing a role that you start to take on the characteristics of the role that you're playing. You see it all the time with great actors like Joaquin Phoenix, for example, from the story of when he was playing the Joker a few years ago, he, they were saying like he actually had to go get therapy afterwards. Like when you become, if you really are that great at playing a role, like playing a character, at acting something out, you start to become that. That's why it's so important for us, especially as believers, to not only study the word, but then act it out in our real lives. You know, it tells us that to study and meditate on a word day and night, because that's how you become more like it. When you're trying to embody the character, uh, the Lord most high, if you're trying to embody the character of anything really, you act it out. You think about it. You do it all day, all night. You push yourself towards it all day, all night. All the most successful people, they became obsessed with what they were trying to make a success out of all day, all night. Because we're creatures of habit. I've talked about this before. We are. And so it's very disturbing, especially in my generation, because my generations are the ones that grew up with this stuff when I see everyone posting about this and there have been very few people that I've that I've ever known to where the things that they post about aren't what they live out in their real life at least in some sense like it's because like there's a reason you're posting it there's a reason you're liking it there's a reason you're sharing it and it's more than just oh I think it's funny you think it's funny why because you relate It's relatable in some kind of way, whether it be relatable to something you've done, something you've seen, something you lived out or something you've thought. It's just that simple. We're very simple creatures and yet we're so complex. But it's easy to understand that part. The things we consume, the people we be around, the things we say, the things we think as a man think if so as he it's that simple on that front. And I, I I think that so many people 
want to be able to portray an image for whatever their reasonings may be. You know, everybody always acts like, oh, I'm just doing it for myself. There's there's nothing that you're doing for yourself in a public place, in a public platform. Nothing. Don't don't delude yourself. You know, like I, I make these videos. Yes. And these podcasts. Yes. For myself. Yes. Because I enjoy doing them and I enjoy expressing myself creatively like this. But why am I putting them out? Because I want other people to relate to them. I want other people to consume them. I want I want them to make other people think. It's it's like that with anything that I do. When I post on Twitter, why? Because I want the people that follow me to see my stuff and engage with me in conversation. When I talk about sports, I want people to talk about sports with me. You know, like it, we, we do things in a public platform for the engagement. Otherwise, why don't your tweets go in a journal? Nobody's going to see that, but you, you'll still have a place to get it out. So why wouldn't they go in a, in a private journal instead of on a public platform? Because you want people to see it. Let's stop deluding ourselves. But that's the double-edged sword of it. You want people to see it, and yet you want no one to judge. And that's just not how the world works. Nothing that we do in the public sphere, in the public eye, will not be judged, will not be brought to the court of public opinion at some point in time. And yes, you're going to find people on the internet because the internet is open to the entire world. You're going to find people that agree with you, people that rock with you, but you're, just, you're going to find just as many people that don't, whether they say it or not. You're going to find people that judge. Whether you're doing the right thing or not, quote unquote, the right thing, whether you're doing something, quote unquote, positive or not, You're going to have people that come and they're going to judge and they have a right to judge because you have put it out in the court of public opinion once it goes up on the Internet. Once it goes up on the Internet, once you've done it outside in public, the things the things that people put on the Internet, have you ever noticed they tend not to talk about in public settings? The way that people talk on the Internet isn't the way that they talk at work, for example. The way that people talk on the internet and the image they portray on the internet tends not to be the way that they present themselves to strangers when they're on a college campus, for example. Maybe once they get to know people and once people become good associates or even friends with them, they'll start to share those same kind of outward opinions. And yet, for whatever reason, they'll post on public platforms open for strangers to see and interact with. And get upset when strangers do see and interact with and disagree with what they're putting out. My generation especially puts out things on the internet that impacts our intimate relationships, our personal relationships, our work relationships. They impact their ability to be able to work with certain groups of people under the guise of it just being a joke or it just being the internet or I'm just bullshitting. And I think that's bullshit. Everything you do is, especially on the internet, is part of your brand. You are a brand once you hit the internet. You're a brand. You, you're you putting yourself out into the cyberspace world. You're now a character in the grand stage of the internet. And however people feel about your character, however people judge your character based on that, that's up to them. So it would be wise to make sure that your character is in alignment with everything that you do at all times. What you guys see from me on here, what you guys see from me on my social media platforms, is what you get in real life. Now, I don't put everything on there. I don't expose my entire self because there are things I prefer to keep private. There are things that I prefer to keep in-house. There are parts of myself that I don't really want anyone to know. Whether it be a stranger, whether it be potential 
people that I can link with for friendships, relationships, whatever, whether it be employers or coworkers, the things that I don't want them to see, I wouldn't put on the internet. The things I would, wouldn't mind anybody else seeing, I put. And it took me a while to learn that. I wasn't always like that, especially when I was younger. My teenage years were full of me posting things that I probably shouldn't have been sharing. I know I definitely shouldn't have been sharing with the internet because I don't share those kind of things now. Interactions that I wouldn't have with people in real life, I try to steer from now. I try not to do too much confrontation over the internet because it's not that I avoid confrontation in real life. It's just that there's a time and a place I pick and choose. Same way on the internet. I don't respond to everybody I pick and choose. Because I understand that the way that I represent myself at all times is who I am. The way I represent myself when no one's looking is who I am. That's how characters built. My grandma always taught me that. The way that I represent myself when I come on these videos and talk to you guys is who I am. It's a part of me. The way I represent myself on social media is who I am. The way I represent myself at work is who I am. I am who I am because I live my life every single day. In every waking moment of the day, I make decisions and choices. And those reflect who I am. And I'm not going to act like I have two different sides of me that get shown. At, no, everybody doesn't get shown everything, but everything that people do get shown is a part of me. It is a part of who I am. And I would be lying to you if I denied that. So think about that. The next time you go on the Internet and you're spreading negativity, think about what that says about you, what it's communicating to the people seeing it. When you go on the Internet spreading promiscuous stuff, Think about what that communicates about you. When you go on the internet and it, it doesn't always have to be negative when it's positive. Or when it's seemingly positive anyways. Think about what you're supporting. Think about what you're being positive about. Think. At all times, think. Before action comes thought. Just think, be mindful, be cognizant, and understand that how you carry yourself at all times is a reflection of who you are. Appreciate you guys for watching. I just wanted to come on here and rant a little bit about that. Uh, I'm going to keep doing my series, got away from it for a little bit. Technical stuff was going on, plus a little bit of laziness. But we all good. We all keep rocking out. If you guys are listening on the audio version, check out the description of the episode. And you can see uh, my YouTube channel there. If you're on the YouTube, check the description of the video. And you'll see the links to all the audio versions. If you prefer it in strictly audio form on there. Thanks everybody for watching though. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out. Hi, how are you?